Hello everyone, I am back for another video. Took the day off yesterday, um, just just too much yesterday. I just got back from Mammoth on Saturday, so it needed a rest. Forgive me on that, but I'll upload two today because I got two very good videos planned. Um, our first one for the day is on July 9th, um, before I think, after Redbud, the Supercross schedule for 2020 got announced. So we're going to be going over that. The changes. There's so many changes to the schedule. Like the final round's different. The, the east-west things are different. I'm very interested to see how this works. And if, you, if you're a Supercross fan, I'd imagine you... Or if you're subscribed to the Supercross channel, channel I'd imagine you've seen this. But in case you haven't... Here it is. So the season starts off at Anaheim like it always has. Um, I don't think this is going to change in the next few years unless something happens. Um, so yeah, Anaheim's first round. It always is first round. And it probably always will be the first round. Let's move on because it gets... It's get, it gets tricky right here. What the frick is this going to be? Is this going to be an east-west shootout or a uh, regular east race? I mean, I don't know. It's in St. Louis. Second round's in St. Louis this year. Very, very strange. <coughs> very, very strange. Um... I wonder if this is going to be an east-west shootout, but uh, there, what, what I'm, I'm seeing something here that I saw in, some, in 2011, and that is they do the west races, start off with the west races, and then they do a few east races, races, and then go back to west, and then start the east coast swing. That's what I'm seeing here. I don't know if this is going to be an east-west shootout. We don't know all those details yet. But I'm gonna I'm not gonna be surprised if this is an East West shootout. It's weird to see St. Louis at round number two though, like it's weird to see them in St. Louis period. They are back in the Dome in American Center and this is strange to me. Please comment what you think this race is going to be. It could be a triple crown too. Um you you just never know. Up next is Anaheim 2, and I'm pretty sure I spelled it wrong in the um, title there. Uh, please let me know if I did. I'm pretty sure I did because I spelled it different when I typed in Anaheim 1. Um, <clears throat> I mean, is this is going to be a triple crown, right? I mean, if they keep the triple crown, this is going to be a triple crown race. It always has since they started the triple crown. Two years. Two years. Um... So, this is going to be a triple crown race. I'm guessing if it isn't, then that's breaking a tradition in my eyes. So, it's probably going to be a triple crown race, but this is always third round, Anaheim 2. Let's move on. Round number four is Glendale, Phoenix, Arizona. I don't, I typed it in. I typed all the possible things you can call this race towns that they go to this one I'm um, we went to this race last year um, when it was round two glad to see it back at round four I know Arizona in the past was always round two but I don't know I got used to it being round four and it was round five that one year in 2016 where Ken Roxon whooped everyone um, I'm probably gonna go to this race this year it's glad to see it back on the schedule and let's move on to the next one because the next one, I, they really should change this next one. At least the stadium. Round number five is in Oakland. It's back in Oakland. Here's my problem with this one. This stadium, I do not like this stadium at all. I can't tell if it's a, it's where the Oakland Raiders play, not anymore. Um, I don't think it's going to be anymore. Um, 
That's where the Oakland Raiders used to play, if you're watching this, when they have their stadium. Why would you be watching this when they have their stadium already? I mean, come on. Um, this is where the Oakland Athletics play. They need to move out of this stadium. And so does Supercross. This stadium is old. It's broken down. Um, I should probably text my cousin and ask her how this stadium is because she went to this race last year. Shout out to my cousin. Hello. Um, so this, this one either needs to be taken off the schedule, go back to San Francisco because AT&T Park or whatever they renamed it is actually pretty cool. It's a nice stadium and it's good for Supercross races. I just don't know about the parking there. Oh boy, I'm starting to lose steam here. Whatever. Um, so they just need a they just need to build a new stadium in Oakland and then we can have Supercross there forever and ever. So the stadium's my only problem with this one, but the the track always gets gnarly here, so I'm super excited. We're back in Petco Park, baby. Um, this race was a mutter last year, and I that I I was there. I was at the mutter last year, the big, huge mud fest, and this race last year in 2019 was made famous because of the lime incident. I don't think it's gonna rain there ever again. I think that was a one-time thing. But we're back in San Diego for round six, which it's, it's uh, uh, for a few exceptions, it's been round si it's been round two one year. Remember seventeen, the big rocks and dungeon battle, and Hill almost getting Macklewrath. I have a great Supercross memory, by the way. Ask me anything in the last ten years, and I'll probably know it. Um. And, and one year in 2016, we had it round two and round six. Remember round two, two both of those Dungy won, just gapped in one. Um, yeah, um, we have some good history in San Diego. I, San Diego for me is near and dear to my heart because from 2000, well, 2010, 2012, 13, 14, 15, and 18 and 19, I've been to San Diego, so I've been to San Diego seven times. The same amount that Chad Reed has won that race. I don't think Chad Reed's going to win a race ever again. Sorry, Chad Reed fans. I don't think he's racing again after that Seattle crash. Um, hey, San Diego, though. Um, I was at the first race in Petco Park. And funny story, I mean, go as long as we want. Funny story, the parking lot situation after the race was a nightmare. It was, we were sitting in the parking lot, waiting to pull out of our parking spot after the race for a good hour. So, and, well, yeah, hour, but the other two times I've been to Petco Park, it's been fine. Um, so, yeah, round six, and a little bit of my backstory of Supergrass. My first Supercross was at Qualcomm Stadium in 2010. Just a little fun memory there. Uh, uh, you know what? No, no, it wasn't. It was 2008 Las Vegas. We'll get to Las Vegas later in the schedule. Supercross goes back to Tampa, and we're going to have a deep sand section. That's all I got to say for this. Um... Last time we were there was 2018. Um, for that race was pop was made famous because Austin Forkner got his first 250 win. Um, Justin Hill made his 450 debut and was hitting jumps. I haven't seen anyone do in a long time. Those were the quads because nobody does the quads no more. Um, maybe they do. I don't know. And Eli Tomac won it. So. We're back in Tampa. do -si do down in Arlington. This race in 2019 was amazing. Oh my God. Um, so we all remember 
this was the closest finish in Super in Supercross history. It was Cooper Webb and Ken Roxon. That was a fun fact. I was crying after that race. I don't know why. Um, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, um, we're back in Arlington, and hopefully we get another good race. Hopefully it's in Glendale or another race that I'll keep secret for now. But if you know the schedule, I think you know what I'm going to be talking about. Because I am a big Colorado Rockies fan, and the dude's hat that I'm wearing is from where a future place is on the schedule. Let's get to it. Mercedes-Benz Stadium is on the schedule again. I'm so happy. Um, this stadium, look it up, the construction on this stadium, because it is freaking gnarly. But Supercross is back in it. This race in 2019 was an East-West shootout. I don't think it's going to be an East-West shootout again. might be just a typical East race. Um, we're back in Atlanta, so there's really not much to say about the next, uh, about the next few, um, uh, we're back in Atlanta, baby, um, I, I really want to go to Mercedes-Benz Stadium, though, for a Supercross race, or for anything, except for soccer, I do not like soccer at all, but, I'm not hating on no soccer fans, bye! One word, actually, no, two words. Daytona day. I'm so excited for this. Oh, and by the way, um, sorry I'm not putting the dates on. The thing I have pulled up here is just the, um, just the races in order. So, sorry I don't have the dates. Maybe I'll put them back in the comments. Or you can go on Supercross Live's, Live's page and check it out. Um, all I know is January 4th is the opener, and sometime around the first week of May is the, the, the finale. We'll, we'll get to the finale because there's some drama there. Indy, Rut Fest. That's all I gotta say. Detroit is round. I am not even counting right now. Um, but Detroit is back on the schedule for the second straight year. Um, the the one thing I hope when the track map comes out, um, they go back up into the stands. Because if you remember in 2019, they didn't do that. They did not go back up in the stands, and I was very, 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 very mad about that. But it was still a good race. Forkner swept the three triple crown races. And Tomac almost blew it <laughs> in the third race. That was hilarious. Um, so we're back in Detroit for, I think this is round 11 or 12. Oh boy, you know the crowd's going to be going crazy for this man right here, Eli Tomac, when he wins Denver, Colorado. I, I, I'm so excited for this race. It was on the schedule last year, and it, I'm either going to this race or um, Arizona. I am super excited. I love Denver, Colorado. If you know me, um, I'm a big Colorado Rockies fan. Um, I'm so happy. I didn't think this was going to be on the schedule at all this year after I heard the attendance ratings from last year. Um, I, I'm going to get emotional, so we're going to move on. So I'm looking up the schedule that I took a snapshot on my phone of, and it's saying that Seattle is before Denver. So, oh, and I got the dates here, too. Um, I'll probably put that in the description, or, or you can just go check on the site. Um, 
So, Seattle, it's probably going to be a mud fest. So, I'm running a little bit long on this video, so let's move on. Who can forget the Muskan Tomac incident? I made a video on it. You can go search my channel for it. Um, it was a Supercross talk show video, which, by the way, I'm not done with that. I have a new episode planned, and it's going to be a big one. But we're back in Foxboro, um, Gillette Stadium. I should probably start mentioning stadium names. But oh well. Um, let's move on to the next two races, the final two races on the schedule. Because they are, uh, I don't know if I like this decision right here. What in the frick is going on right now? Why is Las Vegas round number 16? I don't understand it. Vegas is always the final round. I don't get why this is round number 16. I get super heated about this. Every, I, I cannot, I cannot believe this is happening right now. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they're surprised. I, they're not having it in the new Raiders stadium, I know for a fact. Because I went, when I went to Vegas, Raiders stadium, they weren't even putting seats in. No seats in. I mean, I, I, I understand we're very, it, it, it's going to be weird not having Vegas as the last round. And this is where we get into our final one. Let's just get into it. It's Salt Lake City. And, um, who, whose dumb idea was this to put Salt Lake City the final round? I, I mean, come on. It's a tradition to have Vegas at this, as the final round. It is. It just is. I, I don't understand it. Um, scheduling people at Feld, you, you messed this one up. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I was calm till the, till this. Um, I don't know why this is happening right now. Um... That's the Supercross schedule. Um, I can't believe this is happening. This is a... Um, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know if I like the schedule. The, it's like half of it is normal Supercross schedule-y. And then the ending, they just mess it up. They freak it up. I, I don't understand. I, I don't... I don't understand, man. That's the end of this video. Um... As you can see, I got super passionate about that. Um, it's, it's just going to be weird seeing Vegas as the 16th round instead of the 17th round. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, and comment your thoughts on this schedule. And um, Let's see. Tell all your friends about my channel if they like Pixar or Supercross stuff. And... I'll see you guys later today.